What's going on guys? Welcome back to Reverend. I got some degreaser from probably the year 2000 and I got a wire brush, got this block. I'm gonna be scrubbing it down and getting it ready for the machine shop. Yep, today we're finally starting my engine build. Well, the prep to my engine build. In this video, I'm prepping the core of my engine, the block. Now I couldn't get it super clean, but it's all right. It's certainly better than it was. I mean, I wouldn't eat my dinner off of it, but it's only going in the machine shop and they're gonna hot bathe it anyway. So I guess that's all right. This side turned out a little better. It's just all caked on there, the cast iron and a little bit of rust, but I'm definitely gonna paint it. I was thinking maybe like a silver or a gray or maybe black, who knows. So it's getting a little late. I'll see you tomorrow when I send this to the machine shop. Got the block and the trunk and the mini. I'm gonna take this to school tomorrow, maybe clean it up a little bit at tech and then bring it straight to the machine shop where they will bore it out half a millimeter and hone it and then hot tank it. Three days later. So it's been a couple days since the last clip and the block is back from the machine shop all bored and honed. Uh, it's bored out half a millimeter. Just so it doesn't rust, I took a rag and some oil and rubbed in the inside of the cylinders. I do plan on stripping all of this rust and repainting it. So I sandblasted it. Then I got some high heat primer and paint at the AutoZone literally probably 50 feet away from my shop. You have no idea how handy that is having an AutoZone right across the street. So we've got a bit of a problem with this block. If you look here in these oil ports, uh, we can't see it right now, but there's some rust in there, little rust speckles. These oil ports meet with a line that goes this way. You can see it enters right there. These caps can come off, but they have to be drilled out and then they, uh, you just hammer them back in. They're like five bucks on the internet. So I'm just gonna drill this out and then run a pipe cleaner through there and clean this whole gully and uh, be able to have no rust in my oil, hopefully. I am back, it has been a couple days and I got that plug out. I got the new one right here, uh, right there, genuine Mazda. You can see that hole is, well, now a hole. There's no plug plugging it up. So I put a, a socket bigger than the hole. Here, I'll show you. I put a socket bigger than this hole around and then I threaded the bolt into there with a nut uh, before the bolt and that allowed me to spin the nut that extracted the bolt and it popped it all out and that worked perfectly. Shout out to Mr. Price for helping me with that. And I can shove this brush down in there this is for cleaning all types of barrels, uh, but I'm gonna shove this in there and clean it out. Now I've lost my tripod mount, so I'm just gonna put you guys down here, but you can see the action. Just shoving it in there all the way, pulling it back out. I see all that dust. Hopefully this will knock loose some of the rust and get it out of there uh, before it gets knocked loose into my oil. 
There you go. Yeah, you can see. There was hella rust in there before. That's looking pretty clean to me, dog. All right, I'm just gonna go through each one of these holes one more time with a smaller bristle, and then I'll be ready to assemble. Now, I do want to apologize for not filming everything in this video. The sandblasting I did at school, the um, this plug I did also at school, and the machining was at a machine shop, and I didn't want to shove a camera in their face or like ask them to record because I don't know, that's just kind of weird to me. I'm just starting out, so please be patient. Uh, I'll try to get everything on film next project. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm done with my block prep, and I can finally start putting it together. That'll be next video. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.